welcome to my channel. Well, this is going to be kind of like a, a rambly one besides uh, talking about this steel wheel cut jack. Um, this is a great knife, and I, and I, my thought is, uh, why, why do I get carried away with some things and not carried away with others? For example, pins, all right? I use pins a lot. Uh, I haven't had the urge or the desire to get into spending a bunch of money on a pen. You know, it's usually a a big a big pen has been sufficient for everything I need to do. Well, when Olight came out with this O Pen Mini. You know, they eliminated all the flashlight and the laser and all that other stuff, but they also shortened it quite a bit. Um, in this last sale, I just went ahead and threw this one in my uh, cart, besides getting the free flashlight, I decided, well, I'll go ahead and give this a try. Because I had a Fisher Space uh, bullet pin before without the pocket clip, and that thing eventually got lost because... Yeah, it was easy in and out of cargo pockets and stuff, but it was also easy to get lost without a clip holding it down. <clears throat> and uh, it's not about this. It's just that I was wondering why uh, two things, watches and pins, are another thing that people get into. And like Nick Shabazz, you know, always says, don't get into watches. Uh, because you can do the same thing with, with uh, pins and watches that same thing happens with flashlights see flashlights I, I got carried away with too i used to have just like functional flashlights mini mag light or something like that that i would carry around with me and then as things started improving getting better i switched and i started getting carried away with flashlights so flashlights and knives are two things but this is a great knife man i mean i've been using it and it just glides through i haven't sharpened it uh since i got it i strop it um but i carry this one a lot at work for cutting cardboard and stuff like that and then at that time i i realized what happened with me and with knives um for the longest time i was just the probably what most people out there are like with knives is you buy knives that you like you may have a yeah, collection of knives, you know, but it's not necessarily any rhyme or reason. It's just this one does this job or this one does that. And there's not any duplication or a lot of it. And uh, I was pretty much that way, you know. I had some that I liked just for the looks of them. And then, uh, you know, it was practicality. You find something that works and you stick with it. Um, but what did it to me? What changed my knife collection in, into really going crazy was uh, YouTube. YouTube videos. It really was. Because uh, until I discovered that YouTube was more than just music, I always thought it was just music videos, you know, when it first came out. I, I really didn't know what it was all about, that you could find out just about anything, and it's expanded a lot. Well, if you think about it, knife channels and knife videos are are kind of like advertisement for the product. You know, good or bad, it's an advertisement, but it's from generally a non-professional, you know, like not not from a professional advertiser. It's just regular people buying, and I think that's what a lot of people want is, you know, okay, we've seen all these ads, we've seen all these, you know, stuff of people that were paid uh, to promote the product, but what about from someone who wasn't paid, who doesn't have a vested interest in whether or not you buy the, the product. What do they think of it? And if that's different, then you'll know that the one that's being paid and everything, part of that is hype, you know? Um, but yeah, you can get any kind of knife, any any price range or, or whatever, and you and you find what works. What I like about this one is it's it's very easy to flip open. It's positive. It's got a, a really decent blade on it. It holds its edge really well. 
Um, I didn't get into this this knife company a lot. You know, I got this one. I saw a couple other ones. Uh, you know, this was a, a few years back. I saw a, a couple other ones that they made that looked interesting, but I never got any more of them. And some people complain about this, but, you know, yeah, it is kind of a plasticky, you know, kind of feeling handle, but it works. I mean, the advantage of some of these synthetic ones is you drop a pinned bone handled knife on concrete and it you know it may scuff up or everything but around the pins you're gonna have a good chance of getting a crack you know that's not gonna happen on a synthetic knife you know or a synthetic handle that you know it might loosen up it might scuff so you you lose some aesthetic appeal but you gain a lot in functionality it's also you know you don't have to worry about water, blood, oil, whatever, you know. You can just use these. And it, it's got a decent blade shape on it. I don't remember exactly the blade length. Yeah, a little over three inch. About a three and a quarter inch cutting edge. This choil, I, I like it. It's not it's not too crazy. You can get your whole finger in there. And uh, the problem with these with cutting choils a lot of times is if you're used to doing this if you're used to going up to the edge of the knife and pushing down you're, you're not going to get it with it but if you place your finger like this you're not going to have any problem you know cut my finger don't cut your finger <clears throat> but yeah i i sometimes go through my my more modern knives i'm just trying to rotate my edc knife because I've got so many, and, and they're good, you know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with this knife. Why did I get another one? Well, you know, it's the latest, the greatest thing, you know, and it, it's it's a hobby, you know. You, it, you're you easily swayed a lot of times by videos. If you're sitting there like, oh, I like that one, you watch another video on it, and the other person says, oh, I really like this knife. It was really great, and you're like, you know, after a while, you get a consensus. Like, look, if it's a conspiracy just to make me buy a, a crappy knife, uh, they're pretty good at it because it's a bunch of different random people, you know, all over the place saying that it's a good knife. And eventually, you know, you get to where it's, I, I think it's it's budget uh, determines a lot about what you get with your knives, is what you can afford, and then also what your, what your brain is programmed to, you know. A lot of times I'll go through and I'll watch a video and, and a knife will pique my interest or something, and then I start into that further research phase where you watch more videos about the same knife but from different people. And then it can be a knife or a flashlight. <clears throat> and then you go to the product's website or something. You start looking at the specs and you start looking at the price. And then, you know, you're, you're starting to narrow it down. Uh, that, uh, you're hunting it down. You're basically, is it available? Can you afford it? What's holding you back? And... With me, there's not a lot of control on on uh, purchasing. Usually what limits me is budget. I don't have the money. <laughs> there's a lot of knives out there that I want, but I just don't have the money to get them all. And yeah, I don't I don't need any more knives, really. I mean, it's kind of sacrilegious religious to say that, but uh, I've got plenty of knives that do everything I would need a knife to do and uh, last me for the rest of my life, you know? My, now it's late 60s, so uh, I'm not going to live forever, nor do I want to. And if you've seen some people when they get to be 100 years old or around there, man, it, it's like a corpse being shuffled around in a wheelchair. If you still got your brain, maybe that's okay, but a lot of times, meh, I'm sorry, you know, that, that's not for me. But anyway, um, yeah, some, what, what stopped me from watches? You know, what stopped me from getting a bunch of watches? I black watches. My dad brought a Seiko watch back from Vietnam when I was a kid, and it was too big for me, you know. It was one of those. And I, I don't have it anymore, you know. But I, I just basically find a, a functional watch, you know, that works. And this one loses about a minute or so every time I have to, like, sync it up. Uh, and, yeah, I could spend more money, but... It's functional. It does what I want it to do. 
I don't need anything else. It tells me within a minute. If I want to get super accurate, I'll just look at the phone, and the phone is synced, you know, with the cell phone tower, and, you know, that's about as accurate as you're going to get. Used to be you'd have to get watches that would sync with an atomic clock, you know, and it had a special signal and everything just to get the most accurate time. And back in my day, people would call up on the phone. There was this number you would call up, and it's, the current time is... You know, and it was a rotary phone. It wasn't a, a dial phone. I mean, it was a rotary phone. It wasn't a digital phone or anything. So you didn't, you all, you didn't always know what time it was, but you had that. And there were things as, such as operators. You know, you could just dial zero for the operator, and somebody would get on a, a human being, not AI, and talk to you about whatever you were trying to, you know, what number you were trying to reach or something. But anyway, yeah. Just sort of, you know, going back and forth in time and there and, and cutting. But I find this, I find this knife very useful, uh, very handy. And uh, why did I get more? I, I think because I could. You know, a lot of times if your budget is limiting you, you can't afford any other knives, then you're happy with your knife. I mean, you know, for the longest time, I was happy with a buck one ten. I was happy decades i was carrying that thing around on my on my hip you know in, in a pouch and everything and it was something that i would go for and reach but when you can get much lighter and faster deployment uh yeah this is when it starts getting beyond uh traditional and uh modernized but t you don't have to give them up you know, you, you you know, it's not an either or thing. You can have both. You know, you can carry a traditional with you. You can carry a modern. You can carry a fixed blade. Uh, you you got pretty much all your bases covered right there. You know, for your cutting needs. And uh, usually, I have more knives on me than I need. Just like with flashlights, the other day I was walking around during the day, and I noticed that I had uh, three knives on me, but four flashlights when you count them up and it's like i don't know it, they're not heavy or anything but it's just like there's there's being prepared and then there's being over prepared i guess I, I don't know can you be over prepared you know you're either prepared or not uh if you are carrying extra of something then you're prepared and then some i guess anyway I guess I've rambled on long enough with this one, but I just wanted to say that uh, as far as, like, knives and stuff, I, uh, buy whatever you whatever you like on knives, and uh, don't let... I mean, you know, videos can influence you and everything, but, but uh, I would recommend not buying knives just because they're popular if you don't like them. You know, if you don't like that style of knife, you're like, well, everybody likes this, you know... Reverse Tanto or whatever, I, I hate it, but uh, it's very popular. Well, then you're then you're sitting there buying knives not for yourself, but for other reasons. And uh, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, I have a hard enough time buying knives with my own reasons, you know, in my mind. Because I, I look and I, you know, you've got X number of dollars you can spend. You want to get a knife. And then, here's your list. Boom. Here's your list of knives you'd like to get. Well, some of those you can eliminate because they're not in your budget, but a lot of them are. And then what do you do? Well, a lot of times it's just whatever hits your fancy. For me, it's whatever... Uh, um, like those Queen Winterbottom uh, knives, you know. I, I got one because it looked good for a giveaway. And when I got it in the collection, I was like, man... Those are nice knives. I should get another one. Well, you know, other stuff comes up, and you've already seen that one. But, uh, yeah, that, I mean, I don't know. That's just my process of it. Some things, the collecting bug hits me. And in other things, it doesn't at all. I could be perfectly happy with a, a round big pin. Um, this one that I got from Oline was, uh, I don't know if it was because of coupons or whatever and everything, but it was 39 cents, 39 cents for this pen uh it's a damn good 39 cent pen let me tell you i haven't had a bargain like that 
in a long time. Um, am I going to go after titanium and long bolt and on and O pins with lights and everything? No, I mean, this this works perfectly fine. It works uh, fairly decently on riding. I don't know if it's pressurized or anything. Right upside down like a space pin, but O pin. I mean, it works. And it's got that, if you want to do fidget vac, or, you know, you can flip that back and forth. But, like I said, what what I fidget lately with is this rotary switch. I don't know, man. I just keep flicking it on. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> That's my fidget. Um, but there you go. I've rambled on way too long. I already said I was going to stop, like, three minutes ago. So, uh, yeah. What are your thoughts on uh, on collections, if you've got collections? And uh, and put down in, in, in the comments, if you want, um, what you collect beyond knives or flashlights. I mean, do, you, do you get into watches? Do you get into pins? Do you get into other EDC items? I mean, a lot of people get into Hanks. You know, they're not that expensive, but, you know, it's a nice backdrop for a photograph or whatever, you know, for Instagram or whatever you're doing. And... Uh, I've, I've never really gotten into those, I, um, but I can see how I would get, like, to me it would be like a knife or a, I mean, like a, a pen or a watch type of thing. I might get one or two for a decent background, but I I really don't need to get carried away with collecting things, man. I can find all kinds of reasons. Oh, I like that because it's got a store, and I can put my own store on it, and yeah. So, I'm going to get a bunch of these just because it's different. Well, yeah, sometimes that's that's what it is, you know. It's the same pattern knife you've seen over and over, but it's got a different handle material. It's got a different cover. And that's the collection bug. That's where you've got more money uh, disposable that you can afford to have duplicates on. And, and that's a good thing. I mean, you know. You might as well enjoy it while you got it because you ain't going to be able to take money with you when you die. And uh, you don't want to leave it to that snooty relative. I keep bringing up bad relatives. I really don't have uh, bad relatives and stuff. It's just uh, I know a lot of people do. You know, they, they have them. And uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, it's all Peppy's fault. I blame him for all my problems. <clears throat> Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.